STL TV Live. I'm Sarah Bernard, and in the studio with me now is Ivor David Balding, the artistic director and co-founder of Circus Flora. And I know I'm like a little schoolgirl right now because I'm so <laughs> excited. <laughs> I love Circus fun. Flora. Well, that's wonderful. I have been going for years, taking oh, my kids, and it's just one of it's a treasure in St. Louis. Well, thank and you. And you've I'm been sorry. behind the helm forever since it started. Well, right? yeah, we, twenty. This is our twenty-sixth year in St. Louis. It's amazing. And I, yeah, I started it. And uh, I mean, have I been going twenty-six years? I probably have actually. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, we started in Faust Park. That's out right. In the county. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, out in Chesterfield. Yeah. Yeah, so mm -hmm. the 26th year. So yeah. let's talk a little bit about Circus Floor, the organization, because it's grown over the years, and tell us a little bit about the history. Well, it, it is a not-for-profit theater company okay. based here, as always, in St. Louis. And our mission is to entertain people, obviously, but we have a year-round presence now in St. Louis. Yeah, you're doing things all over the place. Well, I mean, yeah, it's important. And what <laughs> happened? Yeah, what happened really was we used to tour more, but the cost of touring got too high, yeah. and our ticket prices had to be too high, and we didn't ever really want to be in the sort of Cirque du Soleil right. price range. Okay. I mean, we were a different kind of circus, yeah. and uh, we're based in a community that we cared and loved about. So we started many more outreach programs. We do uh, a a show with the symphony in Powell Hall, which has been a thrill. Yes, And we're doing, doing another one uh, in December, December 10th. Yeah. And uh, we have one of our newest outreach programs is very dear to my heart is Clowns on Call, where clowns go into children's hospitals and entertain and, and so the work. So kids who can't get to the service. Yes. And is that going to be a year-round program? Yes, it is. It's very much a year-round program. Yeah. We have to raise some money because yeah. they're professionals. This right. is not a volunteer. So uh, all the performers that we see in the summertime, where are they St. Louis? Well, some are St. Louis and some come from all over the world. Okay, yeah, because I know we see some of the same people every year. Yes. I, I love Nino and yeah. the they'll flying be here. Melendas. Don't yes, and, they'll yeah. be here. Yeah, so they, they come back. They, do they live here? No. No. Okay, so uh, they Nino in. lives in Chicago and uh, Tino, who's his half-brother, Melinda, lives in Sarasota oh, but so it's like all this family stuff yeah, <laughs> in the but circus they, world. Yeah. But they tour yeah. so you know there's no real home. Yeah. I mean right. So they're busy all over the place. They try to be. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then when David calls, they yeah. answer the phone, right? Well they've I've been very lucky because yeah. you know, if someone had a really long like with Ringling Brothers or something, uh, I wouldn't be able to get them and that's happened to me. Yeah. But normally right. The, the people I really love and want to work with are available. Yeah, and do you, so uh, we're going to talk more about here in just a few minutes, right. but the people that we see, like the Flying Willendas, for example, they some of them have been with Circus Floor since the beginning, right? Absolutely. Yeah. And uh, their children grew up on the show, and yeah. there's a whole nother generation of Willendas now working with Isn't us. Isn't that amazing? And you, how did you get into the circus world? Were you well, a circus performer? My, no, I was. My father was a horse trainer, a very well-known one, and I loved animals, but I always was too big to really be a horseman. And I loved the theater as well, so I spent some time. But then I went to England and started working for a circus over there. Came back to, and worked at the Big Apple Circus in New York. Okay, well, always the in producer. the production world. Well, I was the producer yeah, always. Right. I mean, whatever that means. You weren't on the trapeze no, things. Okay. No, no. <laughs> I was trying to get bums in seats. Right, right, right. And, well, and that's and a very important <laughs> job. That's just as important. And creating an atmosphere where great talent could do their best work. That right. was the other thing. Because circus can be very disheartening when it's just about business and yeah. traveling. The great thing about the circus, though, is it, it, it just no, it's all, it has the same appeal that it, today that it had 100 years ago. It's still... It's well, it, it, I think if it's because it's... Well, one of the tricks is intimacy. Yeah. The fact of it's a one-ring circus. Yeah. And once you've seen a good one-ring circus, you really never want to go back to a sports And arena. that is the best thing about Circus Floor. It's a one-ring circus. Mm -hmm. And don't go away. Don't go anywhere because we've got so much more to talk about with Circus Floor when we return. And remember to keep up with STL TV and all the great events going on around St. Louis. Friend us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And you can always watch us streaming live on stltv.net. Keep it locked on STL TV. We'll be right back with more STL TV Live.